Every road into Mutchelney is flooded, the depth of water beneath us at least four feet. For now, this remains the only way in and out of the village. These pictures, taken from a Yeovilton naval helicopter, dramatically illustrate the plight facing Mutchelney. Completely cut off, surrounded by thousands of acres of water. And they should be protecting us, eh? You're not happy, are you? No, I'm not happy. I'm very angry. But it's on the ground that you get a true sense of the anger here. Peter Nightingale's frustration is boiling over. And when he and his wife, both retired doctors, took me to their home a mile up the road, first by tractor, then by boat, well, it's easy to see why they're so upset. Yeah, deeper than last year. They haven't even finished repairing the house from last year's flood. They called that a one in 100 year event. So what is this? Ask most people in Muchelney and they will point the finger of blame at the Environment Agency. We've been pushing and pushing for dredging to be done and they won't do it. And they say it won't make any difference. Of course it'll make any difference. Morning! Views shared by this couple, who this morning left their flooded home by canoe to visit friends for a cup of tea and a shoulder to cry on. But the frustration is that this is readily fixable. At least the village isn't short of essential supplies. Oh my goodness me. The local church is acting as a food store. Most of this brought in by boat yesterday. Yes. She's got this heart problem. And but essential medicine for this man's wife was on today's delivery list for the Burnham area rescue boat. This water isn't going away anytime soon. So the wider issue here is how do people get to work or school? Mum's been setting me loads of work to do and I've got loads of books I can just stick. Rise and stuff. So it's not a day off exactly. Then. No. <laughs> so with all that to contend with, the arrival of a national newspaper with a water-bound publicity stunt was met with some anger. You are taking the mick coming in here. This is not a zoo. I'm I'm disgusted. <laughs> That's all I can say. Beauty in a boat, they said, was just about yeah. the last thing they needed. Clinton Rogers, BBC Points West on the Somerset Levels.